this is intro to rope dart. First thing we want to go over, the size of a rope dart should reach from hand tip to hand down to the ground or slightly further. Your max height is about this, your minimum height should be from here to here to the ground. So first things we want to cover are proper rope use, getting full extension out of the rope, making sure that your anchor hand, the one that's holding on to the end, and your guide hand, what's directing the rope, are coming all the way together and then apart so that it doesn't hit the ground. Once you've got that, move into big circles, nice big circles, so that we can then pull those down in. So from a large circle, you're moving from the 11 o'clock position, pulling it down as it's coming downwards. Once we've covered that, we're going to move on into using your body to help turn the rope dart. Catching with your elbow to then pull that rope across your body. Now you can do this with any body part, including your legs, in any direction and including your body, like so, and including your neck, like so. Keep in mind that there is a difference between using your neck and using your entire torso, although the two motions do look very similar. <coughs> we have up next suicides, which is much like that neck turn, wrapping around your neck once, then twice, and then unwrapping on the opposite side. Similarly, that is a right to left suicide, and we have forwards to backwards suicides. Leading from that, that transitions into our first empty knot, which is a suicide empty knot, which wraps around our neck once. See, I caught the rope here, then I am turning over to our other side, and then releasing the rope. In profile, that will look like this. So again, catching it here. I've come across, now I'm spinning this way, and it goes back around the neck and releases out. We're going to work on a second empty knot now, which will start out from the right hip, go behind the back and out over the left shoulder like so. From here we can either stall the dart or turn around. We're going to stall for this demonstration. Going in reverse, now over the left shoulder and out the right hip. And from here we can cast it on out like so. <coughs> Eeny meeny miny. I think that's all of the individual content. Now it's possible to take all of these different actions and stack them up on top of one another to create a sort of uh, a more grand experience other than I've turned, I've used my neck, I've used my leg. And what that could look like might be this. Into a suicide, out of the suicide, through an arm wrap, into a shoulder roll, coming out into another elbow turn, into a half suicide, and full release. And if you want to catch that from a different angle, we'll do it from here now. And that is over the shoulder, back over the neck, into a suicide, left to right, coming out of the suicide, around the arm. And you can stall this point forever if you want to. But anyhow, coming out of that, catching with the thumb, around the elbow, back around the neck, and the whole thing comes out undone. That is the entirety of Intro to Rope Dart. I hope you can get each and every bit of that.